Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the old Minecraft launcher and I know some of you have updated and upgraded your old Minecraft launcher to the new Minecraft launcher however some of you are experiencing problems with the new Minecraft launcher, you're getting crashes, it's not working for you but the old Minecraft launcher was working for you. I have also done a fix video where I've shown a few different steps where you can fix a few problems, you can fix the BSOD blue screen of death issues as well as well as other bugs however I do know that some of you have tried those methods but still you just can't get the new Minecraft launcher to work on your systems so today I'm going to show you guys how to download and downgrade to the old Minecraft launcher from the new Minecraft launcher so you will be able to play on the old Minecraft launcher that you were used to playing with and hopefully you should not see any more further problems with that so as you guys can see I am on the new Minecraft launcher the moment if I click into Minecraft for Windows one way of checking that this is the new Minecraft launcher is that I've got a play button here and if you guys haven't purchased the Minecraft for Windows then you might see a buy button here so if I click on Minecraft Dungeons it will say buy now so you might see the same thing when you click on Minecraft for Windows if you don't own this if you were using the old launcher it would have a message in this button that said incompatible with this launcher and every time you open the old Minecraft launcher there would be a red bar at the bottom and it would ask you to upgrade basically so this is the the new Minecraft launcher which we've all recently upgraded to so I'm going to now show you guys how to actually downgrade and download the old Minecraft launcher that you guys were using and it's really easy so let me just close this down I'm now going to go into my internet browser and once you're in your internet browser, all you need to do is just go to minecraft.net and then we're going to type download and we're going to type another forward slash after that and we're going to type alternative. So in your search bar, just type in minecraft.net forward slash download forward slash alternative there's no s after download or alternative it's all singular and then just press enter on your keyboard and you should come to this website so as you guys can see that the link has changed so basically it's minecraft.net for me and it says forward slash en hyphen us slash download slash alternative and you guys should be able to see this screen that looks something like this now on this screen you will see different versions of Minecraft that you can download so these are all of the different installers that you can download for Minecraft and you should be able to get the correct one and everything should work fine as it did before so the first one as you guys can see it says Windows 10 slash 11 recommended and it says just double click and install easy as pie and if you look at this file it's basically the minecraft installer.exe file and this is the new launcher so if you guys want to basically do a clean installation of the new minecraft launcher or you were looking for the new minecraft launcher link then you need to click on this one over here now if we have a look at the bottom two so as you guys can see it says windows 7 slash 8 recommended just double click and install easy as pie and this is the minecraft installer.msi file now i have actually gone into my previous emails and I've had a look at the time when I purchased Minecraft and I've seen the download receipt which was sent to me and the link which they sent me to download the launcher at that time is exactly the same as this launcher's link so the Minecraft installer.msi file is what they sent me back then so let's go ahead and click on this file and let's download it to our desktop and this is basically going to install the old Minecraft launcher to your program files and you can run it like you used to run it previously okay so if we have a look at the third option here which is the Windows 7 slash 8 alternative installer so as you guys can see it says get Minecraft without our handy installer if that's your thing and essentially this is a portable version of the old Minecraft launcher so if you guys don't want to go through the whole process of actually installing the old Minecraft launcher and you just want the exe file so basically you can actually place this exe file anywhere on your system you can place it in your documents folder in your c drive in your games folder or even have it on your desktop and you can just run it and it should open up the older Minecraft launcher and you won't need to actually install anything and nothing gets created it's all portable so let's actually download this and take a look at this one as well so I'm going to save this file to my desktop as well 
Let's go ahead and do that now. So I've put both of these files on my desktop. Let me close down my browser. And as you guys can see, I've now got the Minecraft, the old Minecraft launcher installer here. And I've got the Minecraft.exe file, which is the Minecraft launcher. However, it's without actually installing anything. You can just run it and it should open up. So let's go ahead and try out this Minecraft.exe file and see how that actually runs. So I'm going to double click on this. And it's going to actually say it's updating. And as you guys can see, it says updating Minecraft launcher. It does actually download two other folders that you can see. It says game and tools. And it's going to give you this message where it's going to be downloading the update files. And then it's going to actually launch the old Minecraft launcher. So let's wait for this to now finish the download. And it's going to launch up with the older Minecraft launcher. And as you guys can see, it's now launched the old Minecraft launcher. I am getting a message here that says you have a new upgraded version of the launcher installed. And it says the new launcher has more features and games available. This is the message which you will get if you do have the new Minecraft launcher installed. So you can just click on cancel or I understand whichever one you prefer. And you will notice it does say at the bottom left here, there is a new improved launcher. Download it now. So every time you open up the old Minecraft launcher, you will see this message. And basically, you can just click on this cross over here to get rid of that message. If we now go to Minecraft for Windows, you can see the buttons now grayed out. It does say incompatible with launcher. And if you guys remember before in the new Minecraft launcher, it had an option there to either play or buy it now. So we do know that this is the old Minecraft launcher that works for us. And we can actually go back into the Java edition. And as you guys can see, I actually have a Forge installation, which I installed previously. And it's actually remembered my Forge installation using the old Minecraft launcher. And I can actually click on play and that should actually launch the game with Forge installed. So you guys can actually go ahead and start installing different mod loaders and different things using the old Minecraft launcher like you guys used to previously and that should work so let me just wait for this to load up and make sure that it is working fine and do bear in mind this is the portable version of the old minecraft launcher i am going to show you guys how to actually install the other one as well so let's wait for this to now finish and let's wait for it to now load up all right so as you guys can see it's now loaded up the game with the emojang studios logo showing here and it is loading so we do know that we are able to play the game using the old minecraft launcher so let me actually maximize this as well and there we go we're now into the game it does say forge beta and this is the latest version of forge which we can actually download as of today's date so i can actually close this down if you guys do notice we do have some different folders here so i've got a runtime folder i've got tools folder and i've got a game folder and we can actually go into these folders so if i just go into the runtime folder i can actually see that they have their own folder which actually has the java w.exe file and this is the java 16.0.1 which Minecraft Java is actually using by default. So we do know that this is definitely the old Minecraft launch. And I would actually recommend if you guys are using the portable version, so actually create a brand new folder and place all of these files in there and then just run it from inside the folder and it should work fine. So you can just basically move those files anywhere you want to and you can just play the game and you can just start the old launcher like that. All right, let's close this down now. And what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to double click on the Minecraft installer .msi file. Once you double click on the Minecraft installer .msi file, you should see a installer window that looks like something like this. And it says Minecraft launcher setup. And this is basically the old Minecraft launcher installer program. Just click on next. I would highly recommend that you guys just keep everything as the default because I do know that sometimes this can cause problems. So just leave it as it is. It does install to the program files directory. And as you guys can see, it's C program files slash Minecraft launcher. And do make sure that create a shortcut on the desktop option is ticked as well. Let's click on next. Let's click on install. And uh, let's just wait for that to actually install. It's a really quick install. You guys might have noticed the screen went black there. It was asking me for permission. So as you guys can see, it does have an option here to start Minecraft launcher after closing the installer. So let's untick that for now. Let's click on finish. And now we have our old Minecraft launcher shortcut on our desktop and what we would have been using for many months prior to the new Minecraft launcher that just came out recently. So you guys can see the difference. This is what the old Minecraft launcher shortcut looks like on our desktop. And this is the new Minecraft launcher shortcut. And these are the differences between the two 
launchers the old minecraft launcher and the new one all right so let's go ahead and double click on the old minecraft launcher shortcut to run this and similar to the portable version it should basically download the update files as you guys can see this is basically updating all of the files in the program files directory and then it should launch the old minecraft launcher as we're used to seeing you might also see it say cleaning up and it's basically going to finish all of that and it should launch the old minecraft launcher like so and similar to how i showed before you would get a red bar at the bottom here and that reads there is a new improved launcher downloaded now you will also see this message if you do have the new minecraft launcher installed alongside this and you can see it says you have a new upgraded version of the launch installed and you can click on i understand or cancel it doesn't matter and then let's go ahead and actually close down this red bar by clicking on this cross if i click on minecraft for windows on the left here you can see it says incompatible with launcher so this is also the old minecraft launcher and we do know that this is the old minecraft launcher otherwise we would see a buy now button here similar to how it says it for minecraft dungeons as you guys can see it also has my forge installation which i installed earlier let's actually go ahead and download and install optifine quickly so we can have a look that everything is working fine as it should so let's go to optifine.net and let's actually click on downloads i'm going to download the latest version of optifine that we can i'm going to click on the mirror link click on download save to my desktop over here and then let's actually keep this file and let's minimize that and minimize the launcher i'm now going to run the optifine installer like so and it should give me a message that says install optifine for minecraft 1.17.1 i'm going to click on install and it should be a quick installation and it should say optifine is successfully installed i'm going to click on ok let's close down the launcher again let's reopen the old minecraft launcher now and we should have an installation for optifine so let's wait for this now to load up and we can finally see our optifine installation on here let's click on cancel and as you guys can see at the bottom left here it does say optifine in the drop down if i click on installations over here we do have the optifine installation here as well so i can now click on play and i'm going to launch the game with optifine installed so you guys can go ahead and install fabric optifine forge and iris shaders if that is something that you guys are looking to do and get installed on the old minecraft launcher so let's just wait for this to load up and open up the game so we do know that everything is working as it should all right so as you guys can see it's now loaded up minecraft version 1.17.1 i'll maximize this window here if i click on options go to video settings you can see it says optifine hd h1 ultra at the bottom left here and i've got a shaders button here so we do know that optifine is working for our minecraft game so i can close this down and i can go back into my old minecraft launcher and then you can start playing the game with the old minecraft launcher you don't have to worry about any more error messages or anything as such now at this time you do have an option you, you can decide to keep the newly installed minecraft launcher if that's what you want to do or we can go ahead and uninstall it so go to your settings menu from your start bar click on apps and then click on apps and features now this should be the same in windows 10 as well i am on windows 11 as you guys can see just type in minecraft in the app list search bar there and if you've got the new minecraft launcher installed you should see two options now you should see the minecraft launcher and it should say it's by microsoft studios as you guys can see and it should actually be a really big file size so for me it's 444 megabytes you should also see the old minecraft launcher on here and it says mojang and as you guys can see it's only 3.25 megabytes and we can go ahead and basically uninstall the new minecraft launcher from this menu here if that's what you guys want to do and then keep on using the old minecraft launcher hopefully you guys have found this video useful if you have please do give us a like if you have any comments or queries or issues with installing the old minecraft launcher and downgrading from the new minecraft launcher to the old minecraft launcher then do leave them in the comment section below and please also do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching